Merry meet and welcome. I'm Taylor and today we're going to be doing some level three Sims cooking with making the pancakes. This is an adapted recipe. It is a recipe I found when I first went vegan um, or started eating more vegan foods and it was, it was a lifesaver. I still use it to this day um, because it has it has protein in it. It's quick and easy to make. I can, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So of course, when I saw the Sims had pancakes, I knew exactly what we were going to be making today. So again, no taste test will be needed, but let's go ahead and get started. So I am doing what is double the recipe because this is one of my favorite like meal preps to do as well. So with that, I have two cups of flour in here, and then I have half a cup of powder, powder, protein powder in here. And then I have half a teaspoon of salt, and you know me, it's actually sea salt because I'm working through a whole bunch of other salts. And then we have two tablespoons of baking powder. And then always a good practice is to actually mix your dry ingredients. And normally I would make this just all in the bowl at one time. It is purely for camera's sake that this is being shown. So I would mix all of my dry ingredients and then still go through the process. Um, here we go. So I make a little well with your dry ingredients, just always again a good practice. And then I always like to add in, so this is my adjustment from the recipe, or one of them I should say, is I like to add in protein milk. So this is from Sprout, it's their pea plant protein milk. And again, just to add a little bit more protein, there's not only protein powder in here, but there's also gonna be protein in this milk. Uh, but the recipe calls for water, so if you don't have this, and I've done this, you can still just make it with regular water. Okay. And then, the other thing we have here is, oh, sorry, that was two, about two cups of the milk. And then, um, depending on your protein powder, you may need to add more depending on how thick it is. I am unfortunately out of milk right now, so I'll be using water to help thicken it because again, we're just adjusting. We're not like crying over like absent milk here. Um, and then anyway, so this is agave syrup, but you can use maple syrup. And then if you do like honey, you can also use honey too, uh, depending. I know that uh, that's not necessarily considered vegan, but there's also like if you're just putting local bees, so take what you will, but any liquid sugar is what you're looking for. And we have about four tablespoons here. And then you can also control, cause this is your sugar here, uh, besides maybe any added sugar in your protein powder. But, <laughs> but this is when you can control your uh, sugar intake too. So if you're like, oh, I don't want that at all. Uh, I don't need it, then that's fine. Uh, you know what pancakes taste like. So, and if you're like, I get all my sugar from the added syrup that I put on top of it, again, that's fine. So as you can see here, like it gets so thick. This is because of my protein powder, because I've done this, again, I've been using this recipe probably for at least five years now. Um, and it uh, gets thick just due to the protein powder I use because it didn't get this thick with other protein powder. So I'm just gonna add a little bit And the other thing with this too, is you can just play around with this. This is just a pancake mix. So once it gets to this point, no matter, like I think it's funny this is level three, because I feel like this really is more of a, maybe a level two, because like knowing like the dry ingredients mixing it, but uh, once you mix up those dry ingredients and stuff, it's just more about like, oh, does that look like pancake texture? Technically, yes, you can still make pancakes from this. I personally like mine a little bit uh, thinner, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And then you can just play around. And then if you wanna add in fruit, well, if you're adding in fruit, it's actually best to add it in as you're actually cooking your pancakes. And then if you're doing 
like chocolate chips, then you want to mix that in so that it's all throughout the batter. But because fruit typically is going to be bigger than your pancakes and it'll cook around it. rather than sinking to the bottom when you mix it. So this is actually a pretty good mixture for pancake batter. I personally am still gonna thin it up a little bit more just because I know that a little bit more will help this go a little a longer way for me. And this is meal prep right now. So this will probably be the last amount that I'll add. Which honestly, so normally, uh, no matter how I adjust the recipe, I only have to use three measuring utensils and so one of those is the quarter cup or the half cup and so typically it's always like four measurements four parts flour to five parts milk and i just looked at my measuring cup and that's pretty much exactly how much extra water we used to us to get to that five parts Okay, and then that's the other thing. I didn't use a special for this, I used a whisk because whenever I use a special, it just does not get it done. So using a whisk for this is so much better, especially for doing your dry ingredients. Whisking your dry ingredients is so much easier for incorporating them. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this whisk off to the side and, and we're gonna go ahead and go over to our flat grill over there. All right, Mary Mead again. So here we are, I went ahead, you've seen me oil this before and spread it around. I went ahead and it did that here to heat it up. And cause it's always better to cook pancakes on a hotter pan. That way they start cooking faster. Otherwise your first few, they're gonna end up not cooking to get that browned uh, coloring that you want. So, but now we do have to be careful because we are still on a, I'm gonna turn this down even now. Um, to a little bit more like medium low heat. But we do have to be careful now that it doesn't get too hot and so these will probably go a lot faster. But that's also one of the fun things about pancakes is it seems like it would be a fancy breakfast that takes a long time and that almost is never the case. All right, so using my bowl, I am, so you can quarter this out. You can use a measuring spoon, you can use a ladle, you can do everything but I'm what I'm currently doing, which I, I'm going to tip this bowl over onto uh, here and then lift it up when I'm done. And I'm using one of my purple spatulas to help. So I <laughs> hope you can see something and we'll see how it goes. And so get it and you don't want to get it to this shape because it'll spread out more and then I help it to get more of that pancake pancake shape and typically I can do more since I'm recording this I'm going to actually check to see what you can see and we're just going to do one at a time for these bigger ones okay so it looks like you can see that pretty good so I'm gonna do a couple of small ones here. I don't know if you'll be able to see me dropping these ones, but I like to do these small ones too to give me variety and snacking options. I've never had to do this without uh, with the camera here, so I'm like trying so hard not to hit the camera and it is using different arm strength. <laughs> to lift the bowl in these different areas. But it looks like you can see all three pancakes, so that's really good. You can also see how it's already starting to bubble up. So this is something that I didn't quite understand, so I apologize if you're someone who does struggle with this, about when is it time to flip the pancakes. So a lot of people will add like Sprite, Mountain Dew, uh, Seven Up to their pancake mix and it'll help with the airiness, yes, but a lot of times too, you'll be able to see the bubbles activate a lot faster. So then you're like, okay, perfect, it's all bubbles, now I know to flip it. And so with this, we have baking powder, which doesn't rise as fast or bubble as much. So we're going to actually do the other thing, which is why I'm confused about when people don't really know, is just checking it. So we take our spatula, um, it's just funny because they're both called spatulas. Anyway, so we take our spatula and we can see like this has like crossed it up a little bit and we can see like, oh, it's still a little bit soft, so probably not. But since our spatula is oiled, 
we can get underneath there. And then as we look, we're like, oh no, that is perfect color. So we're gonna flip it. And you gotta flip with confidence, honestly. So, which I'm honestly not doing the best with confidence. Oh, that's what I was trying to avoid. So when that happens, you just go for it. You just jam it in there. It's all dough, it's all gonna cook. <laughs> and then they just kissed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, so you wanna be careful. Uh, this is just not a good spatula, honestly, for this. Which is why I normally do smaller ones, because it's not good at getting underneath. I don't know, some spatulas do it really well, other ones don't. Maybe it's because this one has a little curve to it. I think I have another one that doesn't have any. Maybe that's the trick. More to come, we'll test that theory out. I guess we could test it out today. And then because those quick fit fast, these are probably gonna cook just as fast. And so we wanna be careful because since they do puff up, you mm -hmm. want the centers now to cook decently evenly but you don't want the bottoms to get too cooked so this is when I get a little impatient because it's harder to tell now since there's no bubbles there's no really other way to check but once you check then you might lose the cooking on it just because it's on the other side I don't know but so yep it's been not too long and there we go we're already done with our pancakes it does help, oops, sorry. This is the tub where I'm putting them in, as you can see. And so that's my other trick, is just typically using my hand. <laughs> and so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead, put some more on here, and we'll use the other spatula to test it out. <laughs> we'll extra test for all of us who are here. If you're not interested, I probably am gonna put a timestamp below uh, where it has our finished pancakes, because at this point, it is just more of us making pancakes and finishing off the batter. Well, and that's for me not lifting up my bowl fast enough, and that's okay. That's what I mean about using different muscles. Like, you guys are on a hold, like I'm having to hold it on a whole nother side. So much so I'm going to leave that one so that there's actually room to flip. Because that's actually important. Also, normally it is not an issue because this is... A pretty good flat grill to wear as long as I keep it oiled most of the time I don't have to oil in between pancakes but that first pancake kind of stuck so we'll see worst case scenario it's it shreds So we can see how it's getting that like crust again when it like gets that like little roundedness because that's showing how it's like starting to cook up towards the middle because this is, for all intents and purposes is kind of like a pastry, right? And so we'll be able to test it. Oh, it went underneath so well I'm actually just going to flip it. Perfection. So that's another way how, how to tell is if you can get it completely underneath and you just like you're like oh this is ready. I say go for it. The flip is more important sometimes. And same thing here. So also this one definitely did go better. So I'm going to say it's this one and it is due to it being flat. So there you know, there you go about spatulas and going underneath pancakes. <laughs> With that, I'm going to finish off making all of these pancakes and then we'll come back for a grand reveal. Talk to you soon. Marry me one last time. So we have our finished pancakes here and I have several to be my breakfast for the next about three or four days depends on how much I want to eat honestly um, and if I pair them with anything but for right now I'm going to go ahead and have these pancake I did unfortunately I was cleaning up and I forgot that I needed to like have aesthetic looking food <laughs> so I it did get a little warm, so my batter did 
unfortunately my butter wasn't able to melt because I didn't have the butter sticking out and I just didn't think ahead very well. So that happens sometimes. So I'm gonna stick this in the microwave because there's nothing wrong with that. And that has been our level three Sims pancakes, but vegan. See you guys next time. Bye.